Hi everyone, welcome back to the lesson 3 of our Python for Finance tutorial series. Just a very quick recap, in the last two videos, we were using web scrappings to capture the data from Yahoo Finance page. Uh, but as mentioned before, you can change it to whatever websites you want, as long as those websites um, doesn't have any functions to keep you out. Or of course, you can use some uh, API functions to get some data. Say for example, with the use of Yahoo Finance API, uh, it all depends on your objective and all depends on your usage. So far, we've, in, we've completed the revisions on how we can capture and download the live data from different websites and store them into a CSV file for further um, data analytics analysis and also uh, visualizations. Therefore, we are ready now and we will start to visualize the stock information, start to analyze the stock information. Before we dive into the programming exercise or the coding part, let me explain a little bit of what we are going to do and what are the expected uh, outputs looks like. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Here you can see that this is the final output uh, from the Python program. And there are plenty of information and several subplots in this graph. You can see we are going to uh, have a main candlestick chart um, having three moving average lines plots uh, with minutes to minutes candlestick. Right below it, uh, we have a volume bar showing um, the trading volume for each of the corresponding candle. And then right below it, we also have the uh, relative strength in that line chart. So adding up all of these together, we have some basic technical analysis information. On the right hand side, uh, we have a number of line charts uh, which show here, including the stock name, uh, real time stock price, price change, pattern signals, and its target price. This is kind of the whole picture of, uh, for the setup. Of course, the graph will be plotted in an automatic and a live manner. In order for us to plot them nicely and represent the information uh, nicely, we can divide the whole frame into a grid. Here we are using 6x6 six six grid, uh, but of course for your own applications, you can change it to any other size um, to better fit your needs. We are going to use the grid spat uh, from MapPostLib um, to sectionalize the grid. A quick recap on the indexing here. So everything is starting from the top left corner. So we have zero, zero at the top, top left corner. So if we are doing any indexing or slicing, um, the first number is the row and the second number is the column. From the top to the bottom row, we have zero to five. And then from the left to the most right columns, we have zero to five again. And that is the logics that we will, have, we will use for adding the support. The setup in the, code, um, in the coding that I will show you later is like this. Um, we have the main, which is the number one support, and then we are going to have a series of line charts in the right hand side. And so that is the support uh, from, second, from, from two to seven. As mentioned before, we also have the volume chart and RSI line charts, which are in the support eight and nine, respectively. To better illustrate what we are going to do in the programming exercise, let's see what the supports are. The first support is the main one, I should say. Uh, this is the stock that I'm interested in terms of real-time movement. Uh, so we have a candlestick chart uh, for it. As mentioned before, we also have three moving average lines charts along with the plot um, so that we later on can build some uh, cost, um, cost over technical signals with that. And then we have a, a number of uh, uh, line charts. And then we have our first line chart and our second subplot, which is PayPal here. And then we have our um, second line chart in our third subplot, which is Twitter in our example. And then we have our third subplot, um, third line chart uh, in our fourth subplot, uh, which is Apple. And then the last three line charts and supports are Amazon, Microsoft, and Facebook in our example. The information show inside, um, so inside is same to each other or very similar to each other, such as price, 
price change and etc. So you can expect that we will build, build a function for that. Apart from the volume bar chart and other useful charts, uh, um, I should say, sorry, um, the second last uh, plot is a bar chart, which is a volume bar chart um, that reveal how much the transactions uh, is for each of the corresponding candlestick, um, candlestick in the graph above. So this graph will share the same x-axis with the graph above and graph below uh, because they are in the same time in the flow. So there, apart from the volume bar chart, as, um, as mentioned before, another useful uh, graph is the RSI graph, which kind of provides signals that tell us um, to buy when the stock is oversold and to sell when, this, when it is um, overbought. Uh, the RSI is calculated using average price gains and losses uh, for a given, time, a given period of time. Typically, the time period is 14 periods. So we will follow that trend, but of course you can change it to whatever period you want. So here is the quick summary of what we have. We are going to build in total live plots with the live data that we captured in real time. Now let's move on to our programming exercise. Uh, first thing first, need, we need to import a few libraries, not too many. Uh, we need to import pandas as PDs. Pandas, uh, we, we, we use pandas to create some data frames, and those data frames will be uh, help us to store some uh, the stock information that capture from the Excel file. And then we are going to import the matplotlib. Um, we are going to import the plot, the ply plot, and then we. Uh, because we are going to plot some graph, of course we need that. And then we are going to um, import the animation. The animation is to help us to uh, plot the graph in a live manner. And then we also need to, from matplotlib, we get the grid spread uh, to import the grid spread. Um, this is where we, we can um, create the six by six um, uh, grid that I mentioned before. <clears throat> and then we also need to import the matplotlib um, ticker. This is um, to help us to create the, uh, use the daytime object as the x axis. Uh, I will show you the function later. And then we need to use the uh, MPL finance um, dot region flavor import handle stake. Um, we are going to use the open high low cost function. Um, that is for our plotting. Uh, that is that this function is used to uh, plot the uh, plot the candle candlestick and then we are going to import the daytime and also import the maps <clears throat> so that's it for all the library and right now we we are going to set up the scene uh, set up the background and uh, before we create a uh, uh, field function so first thing that we need to do is to create the figures and then figure dot page going to set the background color or so called face color as dark blue um one two one four one six for the color code you you can change it to whatever color you want um and then we are going to add the grid. <clears throat> we are going to create a grid um, that is six by six. A grid spat six by six, and then we are going to have <clears throat> in total line what? Six, seven, eight, 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 nine. So we are going to define um, each of the support. 
So first of all, we are going to add the first support, our main plot for the candlestick. That is um zero two four two zero two four. <clears throat> And then we add several more support. So I just copy and paste. Save me some work. So remember that from the uh, from the second to seventh um, plot, um, that is the line chart. So that is on the right hand side on the screen so we are going to have this zero one and this is from four to six and then one two three four five yep one two three Four, five, and then the other grid is the uh, volume volume chart, and that is at the bottom uh, at the bottom of this of this uh, uh, of, uh, below this uh, grid uh, below this main chart, and then the we have the RSI chart. So that's it for the for the grid. And then we are going to import import um because we we right now we have um um seven 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 graphs for the so we can we can handle seven stocks because the, these these last two graphs is just a, a another uh, some kind of information that taking from from this um SC one. So so we in total we have seven main parts. Uh, we need seven stocks. So bring to import the uh, BLK PayPal Twitter um, Apple Amazon Microsoft and lastly the Facebook <clears throat> just as an example and then we can see if this work um, before we move on to the uh, to develop the functions let's take a look first Excellent. Right now we are ready to create some functions. So the first functions that I'm going to build is just for uh, for some fancy stuff to make the plot uh, nicer. There's nothing special. You can change. You can do whatever color you want. So or even you you don't have to um, create this. Um, this is the should be this one is the dark blue color again and then we have the take um, parameters um, so the access equals to both we are going to change the tick um, we need to uh, take the tick label um, that should be label size is 14 and then the colors is right because we have dark colors to make it have a better contrast and then the take labels um, the format use offset uh, you try to remove the offset or you can say you can consider we are going to remove the uh, scientific notation and then the spice um, for 
this is for the bottom we're going to set color again so the color that we use is like a dark gray color something like that so for all the spines here all the spines so that is bottom top left and right um so that's it for the um freaky designs we are going to use these functions for all of the uh, support that we have right here and that's it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it um, so in the next video you create some uh, functions such as candlestick chart uh, moving fh line chart and etc for animating the livestock informations so see you in the next video